Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today I'm going to show you guys how I retouch this image that you see on my screen right now and also the preset that I've used. I've actually created that preset and I'm going to be giving you guys uh, that preset as well and show you, go, show you guys how to install it. Alright, so this image was taken with the Sony a7 III as usual. Um, yeah, and I was using the 28-75mm lens. I was shooting high speed sync as you can see my shutter speed was 161 640 of a second i was shooting 2.8 iso was 125th of a second or no not 120 of a second 125 and i was using the flash point um 600 flash yeah so i have already edited this image let me show you so this is my instagram page guys please ensure that you follow my instagram page and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified each time i upload a new um what they call it a new uh photo and also i have a wedding page so if you're interested in weddings you can check out my wedding page as well and i also have a videography page so if you want to see video videos you can come here all right so enough about this so i have edited the, the image before Let me go back to the image this is the image and this is another one as well so yeah so let's get right to the editing so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to crop the image because i love to crop my images and how we actually achieved this shot is that we had some guys on the beach we asked them to assist us it was actually uh four of us on the beach and we wanted help with the dress I did not do a behind the scenes and I didn't have anybody to do the behind the scenes and I didn't want to take a lot of stuff with me. Anyway, uh, we have the guys throw the dress up and they, you know, run out of the shot so we can get the shot. Good. So I'm going to crop the tool. I'm going to crop the image. I'm going to go to my crop tool here. Uh, sorry, I'm getting a message. Let me just check it real quick to ensure there's nothing, nothing important. All right, good. So I'm going to crop it to the 4 to 5 ratio. So once I upload it to Instagram, it's going to be the full size image. So I'm going to press enter. All right. So I'm going to right now you see where it says layer and there's no background. I'm just going to come up here to layers and then uh, background from layer. Good. Create a duplicate and then I am going to clean up the model skin. So I'm just going to start with moving the blemishes from the skin using the patch tool so guys please remember that my videos are just to show you how i edit and you can learn things from it uh my videos is not actually teaching people how to do things i'm just showing you how i edit my images so i really appreciate you guys coming on and watching and viewing and sharing my content i really appreciate it so all I'm doing right now is just cleaning the, just removing the um, blemishes from the model skin and what would be good as well if you moisturize your model's um, body, you can use lotion, you can use eye sheen spray, you can use oil because when you use flash, trust me, it looks really, really good. Alright good that's it so the next step now is frequent separation you can download the action by checking the link in the description and also you can download the action by you can download the preset that i'll be using in this video by using the link in the description as well all right so i'm just going to go to the low layer after selecting the frequent separation action and then i'm going to come over here to the brushes and then i'm going to select the mixer brush uh, I'm going to keep my wet at 2%, everything else remains the same, ensure that you always clear the brush, ensure that there's no color right here, and then I'm just going to even out the skin, I'm just going to start with our arm, and I'm going to do this go up and down, alright, That's all I'm doing, just even out the skin. If you're not seeing anything happening, what you could do is to bring up your wet a little bit higher, but I want my image to look as natural as possible, so I am not going to mess around the wet. 
for this image. Some of my images I do go higher with the width. For this one, I don't need to. All right, I think I am done. So all I did was to, let me just zoom it up and I'm gonna show you the before and after. So before, after. I think I wanna blend out here a little bit more. Right here. All right, good. So I am done with the frequency separation now. I'm gonna do some dodge and burning, just gonna do some highlighting and contouring, <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do dodge first. I'm gonna basically go to the brush, ensure that I'm using a soft rounded brush. And then I'm gonna put my brush at 1% for the flow. Get the brush smaller by using the left bracket on the keyboard and then the areas that are highlighted, ensure that you are using white when you're painting on black. So the areas that are highlighted, I'm just going to enhance it basically. And the areas that are dark, let me go to the burn and I'm just going to highlight the area that is dark. So that's all I'm doing. I think I did too much with the right there. Good. So I'm going to go up to the model's arm and do the same thing again. Just highlight in different sections where the light would hit. I'm not gonna do any frequency separation for the face. I'm just going to add some highlights right here. The forehead. So not all the time, guys, you need to do frequency separation on the entire body. If you notice, I did not do any on the face because I don't need it, good. So I am done with that now. So I'm gonna create a new layer. Control Shift Alt E. Control J and I'm gonna do some color grading on this new layer. So Control Shift A for Camera Raw. And you could also go to Filter and go to Camera Raw. All right, good. So now we're in Camera Raw. What I'm gonna do now is to come over here to where it says Preset. If you're using the 2020 Photoshop, your preset is gonna be over here. I don't have the older version to show you if you're using the older version, but once you go to Camera Raw, you should see presets somewhere on the tab right here. All right. Um, yeah. So this is the preset I've used to get the look. Let me just go before and after. This is a preset I've created. I've created this preset for a video I did for my son, um, four wheel bike that I bought for his birthday. And I created that preset for the video and I just kept it there and it works really awesome. This one is another one. It's called warm tone that's what i call it i might give you that as well and this is one that called natural tone so if you see for each of these cb is for a client i need i need to delete this one right so we have this one this one this one i think i'm going to give you guys all three and you can apply it to your um images all right uh okay i'm going to show you guys how to import it i think you have to go to the three lines right here and then you click on load settings and wherever you download them you're gonna go there and click on it so once you download wherever you download them you just click on load and you just select the one that you want and it will load automatically right here on the user um, preset all right so I'm gonna select this one and then I'm gonna make some adjustments to it because as you can see it changes the entire image drastically so I'm just going to come well, while I select this um, preset, this preset up here comes with camera raw. So I'm just going to use bright. All right. And then I'm going to come over here to edit right here. And then I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up to the adjustments on the basic and just make some fine adjustment so i'm just going to bring down the dehaze a little bit because i don't want it to look too thick so maybe like that so for all your images you have to make adjustments to them you can't just use the um preset like that you have to make adjustments and then i'm just going to you know play with the contrast a little bit anything that works best for you uh, i think i like that so i'm going to press ok all right so i'm going to 
lower the opacity a little bit because i think it's too strong so i'm just gonna lower the opacity like right there it's just you just have to do what you want your image to look like you know so i'm just gonna lower the opacity like that i'm gonna go ctrl shift alt e to create a new layer and then i'm just gonna show you guys the before and after so before after before after so you see exactly what my um my preset is all about look in the skies love it <laughs> so i'm gonna give you guys these three presets i'm at 10,000 subscribers now guys and i'm really i'm really happy and i i posted a image once and i told you guys that once i'm at uh 10,000 subscribers i'll be giving away three of my uh custom presets for camera raw and i did well in this video i'm doing that so yeah so that is the image um it could be fine-tuned a little bit more because i think down here is too dark uh what i could do i could go back to camera raw let's create another camera raw image and then i could go back to the preset and i can go to bright and then i could do a, um what do i call this masking hold on an alt and click on the masking tool and then i'm just gonna brush in this area here because i think it's too dark it doesn't match the model's upper portion of body so i'm just going to mask it ensure that when you're painting with white you have a dark well ensure that you're when you're painting on a dark layer you, your foreground is white so i'm just gonna brighten this a little bit also it looks a little bit yellow or too vibrant so i'm just gonna adjust that by going to the vibrancy and then i'm gonna lower the um the vibrant saturation then i'm gonna control i to invert what i've just done then i'm gonna get the brush again and just paint over it a little bit all right so i think i want to in i, I don't think i can match the hand that well so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to get the hand in the same color so i'm just gonna get my vibrance and bring up the vibrance like that i think this should match it i'm gonna invert it Control i and then i'm just gonna paint in the arm and the face so now everything is now matching i could lower the opacity a little bit all right perfect so now it looks good all right so the last step now is to add some blue in the shadows i'm gonna lower the opacity for this as well so that is it i could clean up the background as well but you know what i'm gonna clean up the background as well i'm gonna go to the patch tool and just remove that and that and that good so that is the image guys if you enjoyed this retouch video please give me a thumbs up if you like my presets please give me a thumbs up and if you post an image on instagram using the the any of my presets you can tag me and i'll look at it and i'll comment and i'll like thank you guys for watching ensure that you subscribe to my youtube channel and please don't skip any of my ads watch all the ads so i can make money <laughs> thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another video bye bye